Now, the next one is fetishistic disorder. Um, and diagnostic criteria, again, continued from similar, uh, is that uh, the person is seeking gratification from either the use of non-living objects or a highly specific focus on non-genital body parts or a specific body part other than genitalia. So, um, uh, fetish is the object which he or she, the person is obsessed to or the person is seeking gratification through. Um, it needs to be specified whether the person is seeking gratification through uh, body parts, the fetish is body parts or the fetish is non-living objects. It can be shoes, it can be hair, it can be um, dress, it can be any, anything can be, can act as a fetish or any other, uh, other than body parts or non-living objects. So this is important to be spelled out. Uh, transvestic disorder. Um, now the criteria here is uh, that the person see gratification for, for, through cross-dressing. Cross-dressing means if it's a girl, then she will be wearing boys' dresses. And if it's a boy, then he or she will be wearing uh, girls' dressing. So this is cross-dressing. Uh, so the person is seeking gratification through this cross-dressing. It needs to be specified if sexually arous arousal uh, by with fetishism, fabric, material, or garments. Um, so this is this is important to spell out ke cross dressing ke saath saath, um, the person is also having fetishism or not. Specify if sexual arousal is with autogynephilia. Now what is autogynephilia? That is thoughts or impulses of self as females. So the person is really preoccupied uh, with the thoughts that he if, if it's a man of course, then he or she is a female, is a girl or is a woman. So this needs to be specified while diagnosing uh, transvestic disorder. Now there is common diagnostic criteria again, which we will uh, look at um, for all the disorders. Ke specifier ke andar, ye bada hai dekhna ke any kind of jo aapka paraphilic disorder hai, is it being manifested in a controlled environment? Controlled environment mean individual living in institutional or other settings where opportunities to engage in a certain behavior are restricted. For example, orphanages, for example, uh, the places where uh, maybe residences, university residences or hostels. So it is important to specify the whether this is related to a controlled environment, specify uh, in all these disorders whether it is in full remission. Full remission means person had it in, in, in any of these disorders which I have just discussed, but the person now uh, for the last five years has been, uh, has not acted on the urges and there has no, been no distress or impairment in important areas of functioning which is C criteria and very important criteria for any disorders to, di to be diagnosed as a um, pedophilic disorder. And also that it has been for the last five years while in an uncontrolled environment, Matlab, there, where there are opportunities, but the individual was able to exercise control on him or herself and has not actually acted upon urges. So this is, this is again the common diagnostic criteria where you need to specify both of these specifiers uh, while diagnosing um, anybody with any kind of paraphilic disorders.